What's going on guys? It's your boy Jackson Officer 95 here with a brand new vlog for all you guys today. So yesterday or two days ago I posted a poll on Instagram to see if you guys would be interested in me showing a vlog of my new pet snake. So if you follow me over here, we'll go ahead and show him. It's your boy Jackson Officer 95 here with a brand new vlog for all you guys today. So yesterday or two days ago, I posted a poll on Instagram to see if you guys would be interested in me showing a vlog of my new pet snake. So if you follow me over here, we'll go ahead and show them. So um, this right here is going to be my ball python. She's a female. She's about, I would say, uh, almost two months. And um, I'll go ahead and show you my other snake, um, my other snake a little later on. Don't worry about him right now. But yeah, this is my ball python. She is so cute. Uh, I really love how she stands like that. She's getting chunky. She actually grew, she actually grew a whole lot since the, you know, since when I first got her. So we're gonna go ahead and take out real quick. Um, I have a heat lamp because obviously snakes are all cold blooded. So I have a heat lamp on here to go ahead and you know keep them as warm as possible. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that off real quick. Place that to the side. That shit gets hella hot too at some point. So. I'm going to take this off. She doesn't strike. She's not really, she's not vicious at all. Obviously, ball pythons are like one of the easiest and the, um, you know, the probably, yeah, like I said, the easiest snake to take care of and, you know, pretty much for beginners. So I'm a beginner myself. I never really owned snakes besides, you know, um, within the last, you know, couple of months. So this is actually my first snake that I got from, um, from one of my guys and I'm going to take out. Like I said, she doesn't bite, but I don't really like just reaching in there and then grabbing her by a head or grabbing her by a tail. So I usually just go inside and go inside the tank and just take out, like, probably her, you know, her lower part or her middle part of her body. But this is her. Her name is Aaliyah. She's pretty damn cute. She, she she likes to poop, so she poops everywhere. She actually pooped on the bed the other day, so we got to go ahead and wash the sheet. So this dog, Kaya, that's her name. She's so fascinated with it, as you can tell. She's not going to strike it or anything. She just loves to sniff it. Look, she's she, just, just sniff it. That's it. She's not going to bite it. She sometimes licks it. I find that kind of weird but hey whatever i'm going to place on a bed real quick just to show you guys how long she is and how thick she is so like i said she's um she's not really as active as my other snakes i have inside the tank but you know she does like to explore but um you know i don't i, I don't I, I like to take them out a little bit more just so they can you know um, you know get the feel of me and you know my girlfriend's actually recording right now because um i just feel like the more i take them out or the more i take her out or him out um, you know, they kind of get used to us and you know, that's what I want the snake to, you know, I want the snake to be used to us. I don't want the snake to be locked inside the tank all day, every day. So we're going to just let her roam for another minute. But as you can tell, she was not this big as I got her. She was super skinny. Um, she actually just shed a couple of days ago. So um, it's pretty good that I did the vlog <laughs> a couple of days after she just finished shedding because she had shed all over her face and the whole body and stuff like that. But she literally got her shed done in like a complete day. So that was pretty, that was pretty good. Let's go ahead and move that controller. My girlfriend's playing Sims. That's why the PS4 controller is on. I was going to pick up real quick. I'm going to just show you guys a little bit um, of scales. It's pretty cool if you ask me. I love snakes. I've never really been fascinated in owning a snake, but she likes to move a whole lot sometimes. She's a, she's a ball python, so she um, typically likes to ball herself up in a ball when she, uh, you know, when she feels like she needs to protect herself. But she's not bad. You know, she's definitely getting longer. She was a lot skinnier when I first got her, so... And She's kind of scary sometimes, so if I put her down on here, and then I'm going to probably just touch her head. She doesn't really like me touching her head. She kind of flinches a whole lot. All right, we can just probably move that real quick. Oh, she actually let me pet her head, so that's pretty good. <laughs> she actually looks like she's liking it. She's enjoying it right now, but usually sometimes when I pet her head, she usually flinches a whole lot, so... I'm surprised she's not doing it right now, but yeah, this is my ball python. This is Aaliyah. This is actually my first snake that I got. I had her about a month before I had my other snake, so she's she's kind of my favorite. She's, you know, obviously a female, so, and, uh, you know, she's my first snake, so obviously I feel like, she, you know, she's definitely going to be my favorite, so I was going to put her back inside the tank real quick. Kyle, you want to go ahead and get another sniff, because I know you're so fascinated with her. Like I said, she's not going to strike at him, or he's not going to, she's not going to try to bite him or anything like that. You see, she gets a little nervous, she gets a little scared, so she typically hides a little bit. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put her back inside the tank. And um, as you guys can tell, um, by the way I designed the tank, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on it and show you guys. But um, I grabbed some wallpaper from a uh, pet store that I had, um, that I found. 
Uh, I got some background wallpaper. I got a, a driftwood. I got a log for her. And I got a water tank, a water bowl, and I uh, got some trees. I got a, you know, I got a little plant inside the back for her. Um, she usually sits behind a tree, or sometimes under the tree, I should say. And sometimes she usually, you know, just sits under her log. But majority of the time, she she's under her plant. So that's my girl Leah. The bedding I got, um, I think this is one of the most popular bedding, I believe. So I forgot, I completely forgot what it's called. Actually, I have it right here. Um, yeah, it's just a snake bedding. It's, um, I don't really know if it has a exact name. Exo Terra, Terra, I got whatever. But this is the one that I use. Um, I actually, I'm gonna probably go ahead and clean her thing sometime this week and um, you know rearrange it and put some more stuff in. But this is pretty expensive. This is about probably think ten bucks or more. So definitely have to go ahead and you know always make sure I always stay packed with all that. If, if you can see her right now, she's she looks so cute. She's so adorable. I love when she just stands and raises her head like that. I find it so cute. But yeah, yesterday, um, yeah, yeah, yesterday. If I started the vlog yesterday, she was pretty active yesterday. She she likes to try to escape. Obviously, she's not gonna try to escape because usually I usually have a book planted on top of here, you know, something like this. And um, you know, obviously, she's not gonna be able to get out because you know it's gonna be pretty hard for her to lift that up. So, but yesterday she was pretty damn active, and you know, she she definitely tried to escape a few times, but. It's not gonna happen. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to my next snake. Let's go ahead and move this over there. That's not gonna really mind. I have an LED light on his. Um, I need to buy another one at some point, but he doesn't really have the money for it right now because these things are pretty expensive. So I'm gonna cut this off real quick, put this to the side. And down here, let's go ahead and show you guys the next snake. As you can tell, this is pretty much the same exact setup as I have that one, um, as, as I have on this side, um, this side of the tank, but Obviously, we just have a tree, which is a little bit more bigger. He usually stays inside the tree. And, um, you know, he has a little bigger house. Because, obviously, the, you know, my other snake, Aaliyah, she doesn't, she doesn't really like this one. And he's pretty skinny and long, so he fits more inside this one. So, we're going to lift this up. Looks like he's hiding right now. I don't think he was sleeping, but let's go and take him out. This is my boy, Malcolm, right here. Come here, boy. As you can tell, he's definitely a whole lot longer. And as you can tell, the dog is also fascinated with him. I feel like she's more fascinated with him than she is with the other snake. So, uh, Kai, get out of my video. <laughs> All right, so this is um, this is my boy Malcolm right here. He is going to be uh, he's going to be a I completely forgot what I was gonna say uh, red tail boa. Um, obviously he's red tail boa as you can tell by his um his tail is gonna be as he grows his he's gonna enhance his he's gonna enhance him going to his um colors right now. But I'm gonna try to put him out to the light real quick. And if you guys can tell, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this or not, but he's obviously a whole lot more active, but he has pink along, it's kind of like a salmon color pink along his sides, if you guys can tell. Um, let's try to flip him around a little bit, and you can tell just by his head. Oh, I actually think he's going to be shedding, his eyes are getting white, so yeah, obviously when a, when a snake's eyes get white, and uh, you know, they start like ghosting, you know, however you want to call it, um, you know, they're pretty much about to start shedding, and if a snake starts shedding, obviously he or she is growing, so... Obviously, he's going to be growing his. I didn't notice that until just now, so I'm probably going to go ahead and put him back inside the tank. It's not really good to keep a snake, oh, you know, to hold the snake while he or she is shedding, so I'm going to just do it just for this video. And, um, yeah, if you guys can tell, he's more like an Oreo color. I'm going to put him on the bed, but he's kind of active, and he likes to, he likes to clamp on, he likes to clamp on to people. So if I try to put him down, he's going to try to clamp back on to me. But he didn't do it just now, but eventually he would at some point, and he does it pretty frequently, so... This is my, yeah, this is my boy Malcolm. He's so little. I think he's only, he's only probably not even a month old. I would say at least three, three weeks, probably almost a month old, I would say. Got him a, got him a couple of weeks ago. Um, you know, he's still pretty, he's still pretty young. He's younger than um, Aaliyah, so, um, you know, he's, he's a whole lot more active. If I put him inside my hand, he likes to clamp on. He likes to pretty much just explore. He likes to be high up. He likes to be in higher places, listen to me. So if I put him like this. Well, if I put him somewhere near my face, he would probably try to, you see? Like I said, he likes to be in higher places. So if I put him any, anywhere on something that he can go ahead and climb on, he's going to go ahead and climb on something. So this is my boy, Malcolm. He's, um, I wouldn't say he's my favorite, but he's 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 pretty close to Leah. Even though I got Leah first, I don't really want to favorite, you know, favoritize one of them. But, you know, he's 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 definitely my favorite so far. I know I said that about Aaliyah, but Aaliyah, you know, Aaliyah, I, I kind of like, you know, different things about Aaliyah, and I kind of like different things about Malcolm. I like that he's more, um, he's going to be at least 10 feet. I like that he's more, um, completely forgot, more active, and um, 
No, he's just so small and just so tiny. He's just so cute. Like, he's, his head is super little, but as he grows, his head is actually going to go ahead and, you know, definitely get massive. His, 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 head is gonna, his head is gonna get huge, so. But yeah, this is my boy Malcolm, so. Um, like I said, this is one of my new snakes that I got about probably, I'll say at least probably two, three weeks ago. I'll say at least three weeks ago, maybe two and a half weeks ago, but it's my newest snake, Red Tail Boa. Um, Red Tail Boa is uh, uh, pretty damn cool, so. Um, what are you looking at, boy? Yeah, he's definitely gonna be shedding. So if you want to just see his eyes real quick, let me go ahead and step over here, but his eyes are turning white. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's probably put him up to the light a little bit. But yeah, as you can tell, his eyes are his eyes are turning white, so he's definitely gonna be shedding pretty soon. So and it's not good to feed the snakes, um, you know, um while they're shedding. So usually what I do if they're not shedding, I usually just give them live live mice. Or, you know, a live rat pup. So, if you guys don't know what a live rat pup is, it's just a live rat pup, pretty much. But, that's about it. But, I'm going to go ahead and put him back in this tank. Because, um, yeah, uh, you know, she's in the middle of shedding. So, I need to go ahead and mist his tank. And, um, you know, go ahead and get him ready for his new shed. Because once he sheds, obviously he's going to be grown. So, let's go ahead and put him back. Alright, come on, boy. Right, I'm going to try to put him back. He's going to try to clamp back onto me, so... As soon as I put him down, like I said, he does not like to be put um to be put down. He likes to be high up in high places. So he's gonna he's most likely probably gonna try to escape before I put this back on. See? Exactly what I said. He likes to be high up and he does not like to be inside his thing. He likes to explore. So sometimes I just have to hurry up and put him down inside before he can, you know, actually escape. So let's go and put that on it real quick. I'm gonna put the heat line back on. And, um, yeah, obviously I have the tongs, um, you know, when I feed them live mice, I usually just, you know, grab the mice by its tail or by its side and just throw them inside there without actually touching them because I personally don't like mice at all. Them shits are just feel, they just feel so creepy and I don't know, I just would rather not touch them at all. So, um, like I said, he's probably just going to explore a little bit. He's probably going to try to go ahead and get back out since I kind of woke him up, I guess. Or he just might go back under his tree or sit on top of his tree, but yeah, guys. That's going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys, if you guys did enjoy, definitely go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button. Until next time, I'll see you guys. Peace.